With Final Fantasy XIV's recent explosion in popularity, people who got burnt out on World of Warcraft jumping into the game, people who are just looking for a brand new MMO to jump in on playing the game, and people who have gotten caught up in the hype playing the game because of this amazing free trial, there is one group of people that I feel like we really haven't seen come to the game yet, or really haven't made their presence known. And those people would be regular Final Fantasy fans. And what I would consider these people to be are people who play the mainline games, which are Final Fantasy 1 through 15, excluding 11 and 14. Because if you do not know, Final Fantasy is a series of games that are mainly single player RPGs that tend to try and innovate the wheel when it comes to the RPG genre with every new release in the mainline series. With that being said, with Final Fantasy 11 and 14 both being MMOs, they're vastly different from all of the other games in the mainline series. And even when you take into account that Final Fantasy goes across multiple genres like fighting games and even tactical RPGs, I always find it kind of funny that there are people who are so resistant to trying this game even though they know that they have a general proclivity to games that Square Enix makes. But because of the fact that they hear it's an MMO, they don't even give the game a chance. Well, let me see if I can kind of sell you on that that today. Number one, the biggest thing about Final Fantasy XIV that's different from other MMOs, which many people have stated over and over and over again, is that it is a fleshed out full on Final Fantasy story. To be honest, between A Realm Reborn, Heaven Sword, Stormblood, and Shadowbringers, you really got four fully fleshed out Final Fantasy stories. They all have a certain level of quality about them, even if there are some low points. But they do make your main character feel like a person who has lived in this world and his castmates feel like actual party members with me personally thinking that the final fantasy 14 cast should be up there with some of the best ones like 7 6 9 and yes in my opinion 12 is also one of the best cast in final fantasy but moving on from that point they also incorporate what made the final fantasy brand so good all of its previous games from having raid series based off of the crystal tower from 3 which culminates in a boss fight against cloud of darkness which is the final boss of Final Fantasy 3, and the return to Evil East Raids, which is basically a huge giant reference to Final Fantasy Tactics and 12, with a character from 12 literally appearing in Final Fantasy 14. This game is made for fans of the series, because while somebody who is just jumping in on 14 and has never played any other Final Fantasy game is going to get some enjoyment out of it and enjoy the story and enjoy the world itself, if you're a person who has been with this series, for many years who has played many different games you are going to see references galore to some of your favorite characters and games within the series which is going to give you a deeper appreciation for what these creators have done because somehow they managed to balance a world that feels solely unique to itself while giving you all of those fan service references that you would only know about if you played the game to be honest final fantasy 14 is more of a fan service game to final fantasy fans than world of Final Fantasy itself, which is literally a game where Final Fantasy crosses over with itself. And last but not least, if you still are afraid of jumping into 14, this game can be played mostly single player for the most part. Obviously, you're going to have to get through the raids and the dungeons and the trials playing with other people, but the vast majority of the story is experienced on your own. You don't have to team up with people like every five or six missions, and by the time you would get to something like Shadowbringers, they have implemented the trust system, which means you can run dungeons with NPC party members, reducing how much contact you have with other players, making it so that the only reason why you would have to play with other people just to get the story is to do the trials, which are short boss battles, which really aren't that long. So all I will ask of you is please give the game a shot. But do you know who will always be a fan of Final Fantasy? Me. And if you want to see more content on Final Fantasy 14, when I eventually talk about the return to Ivalice or the Crystal Tower raid series and my eventual thoughts on Shadowbringers which I am working on you guys please like comment and subscribe down below and check out more videos like this one on my channel but with that being said it has been your boy Skips and I will see you all in the next one.